Hey everyone, welcome to Board Game Informant. I'm your host Johnny, joined by, Mar by Marlena, <laughs> and tonight we're going to play Wingspan. We're uh, we're actually testing a new camera setup and a new chair as well, <laughs> so that's why Marlena looks so tall. I got a, a new game table and the edge of the table makes it feel like you're sitting lower on a normal chair, so we're trying some counter height chairs to see if that's more comfortable. And we only have one right now, so she's going to let me know how it was. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to play Wingspan. I'm not going to do a full rules teach. Uh, we're just going to get right into the game. We've played a couple of times. Marlena has whipped my butt uh, both times that we've played. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get started and play. If you don't know how to play Wingspan, you can see how it plays as we go. Or you can go check out one of the other uh, rules videos available online and then come back and watch us play. All right. So uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, determine first player using Chuwazi. All right, and Marlena got first player. Next thing we'll do is deal out. <clears throat> cards and oh we got to do uh, we got to get one of each food to start so the first thing that happens in wingspan is we start off with five food and uh, five bird cards and we can keep as many as we'd like but for every card that you keep you have to get rid of one of your starting food uh, you also start the game with two bonus cards And you choose and keep one of them. Mm. All right. That's interesting. Marlena's not going to look, but I'm going to show you what I have for a starting hand. I'm not looking, right? Nope. Okay. So if you look up at the uh, at the round bonuses, it looks like uh, <clears throat> looks like this one could could go well with that one of those round bonuses. This one's a little more generic. I might try that one because I haven't really tried a game where I've tried to, to do this. So we'll go ahead and take that and discard the other. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep one. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and keep two. How many are you keeping? I'm keeping two. Okay. Did you discard two of your food? I have not yet. What's the round bonus? We're looking for birds who nest in cavities that have eggs in them. Okay. Yep. Oh. And you're first. I have to pick my bonus cards. Oh, okay. okay. We just heard on the right? Yeah. All right. So I said I wasn't going to do a rules teach, but I will give you a brief overview. Uh, so if you haven't gone to watch a rules video, you have at least some idea of what we're doing here. Uh, so we have eight action markers, these cubes in front of us, and we're going to go back and forth playing an action. And the actions can either be to play a bird, gain food from the bird feeder, which are these dice here, lay eggs on birds, which are these little miniatures there, and to draw bird cards, which either means drawing from the three face up or the uh, or the or drawing blind from the deck, which are off, uh, not in the overhead view. We have them closer to us so we can draw more easily. Um, if you do one of these three actions, you place your action cube on the leftmost available spot in that row. And as you can see, when, when as you play bird cards, they go into these spots. 
So the more bird cards you have, the more powerful these actions get in these three rows. And furthermore, some of the birds, like the three up here, will have brown uh, powers on them. And when you play an action cube, after you do the main action, you move the cube onto each bird sequentially until you get to the left side there, and you activate each power that you hit on your way. Uh, there are also birds with powers that are activated when you play them. Those will be uh, just plain white cards. And then there's pink stripes, which are activated when your opponent triggers some condition, and then you can activate those powers. Uh, when you so you kind of have three engines that are going on here. This top row is gaining food. So the more birds you play in the top row, the more food that you get for doing this action. The second one is to lay eggs. Eggs have multiple purposes. One, when, as you move further and further down these columns, the birds cost eggs to place them in addition to the food that you have to use um, in order to play the birds. So that's one use of eggs, but eggs also give you one point per egg that's on your birds at the end of the game. And then the final one is your card drawing engine. So here's just how you, this is how you get more cards. So early on, the action is just to draw one card, but later on you can draw one card plus discard an egg to draw a second. Then you can just draw two or two and discard an egg for a third, three, and then finally three and discard an egg for a fourth. So these actions on the right side are the ones that you take once you've filled the entire row with birds. Uh, so we'll go back and forth taking actions until we're out of cubes. And then every round we'll evaluate who's got the, oh, I have this on the wrong side. There's two sides to this round bonus. So one is a competitive variant where you see who has the most and then you get points based on first, second, third, and fourth place. Um, and then the other is you just get points for each time that you meet that condition, you get one point. So we're going to play the competitive variant. So each round, there's going to be a bonus for getting the first or second in our case. Um, so the first round, what we're looking for is birds that nest in cavities. So some that have of the, eggs on them. They have to have it. Right, that have eggs on them. So it doesn't matter how many eggs are on each bird, it's going to be any birds that nest in cavities that have an egg on them will count towards that goal bonus. And whoever has the most birds that nest in cavities with eggs on them uh, will get four points, and second place will get one point. Uh, and then the second round, it'll be birds in this that uh, have yes. habitats in the forest. And the, the third one will be the most eggs in the uh, wetlands, and that will be actual total number of eggs amongst all cards in the wetlands. And then the final one is like the first one, except it's, uh, I'm not sure what that symbol Clutches? is. Clutches? Maybe that's a clutch of eggs. And that's the number of birds with that symbol that have eggs on them in the fourth round. Uh, so after we play our action cubes, we'll evaluate that. And we'll put, we'll each put a cube on there, uh, showing who got first and second place. And then the following round, we'll now have one fewer cube. So we play this game over four rounds. Each round, you have one fewer action, uh, but your engine is more efficient as you go. So it's a bit of a trade-off there. And then after the fourth round, we'll add up all of our points from the bonus rounds. We'll add up points from the birds that we've played, and then we'll add of all the eggs that we have left on the board and also some birds allow you to tuck cards under them which indicates that the flock is getting larger and for every card that you have tucked that's also a point. Um, the last thing to note is when you gain food from the bird feeder if the if there's only one type of food available you can re-roll the dice. Um, for the purposes of re-rolling these dual type sides uh, count as a unique side. So if all we had left in the bird feeder was this, uh, that wouldn't count as only one type. It would count as two types of food left. That's it. So I think we can start. All right. I will start by gaining some food from the bird feeder. 
and I will choose we'll choose this worm. So we'll put that it's my other worm. Right? Alright. Uh let's see. I don't think I picked very good birds to start. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card and I am going to take the black turn. Uh, also to note, uh, the bird cards fill at the end of your turn. So if you draw a bird card during your turn, um, you don't immediately refill it if, you, if you're drawing more than one. Um, I'm going to get more food from the bird feeder, <laughs> and I'll take a, a berry. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to play a bird. I'm going to play the back, the black turn. So. The black turn is uh, has a wingspan of 61 centimeters. It gets me four points at the end of the game. It has a star for its nest, which is a wild card, so that actually counts towards any any bonus that refers to a nest type. Uh, this will count towards that. Um, it can hold two eggs maximum, and when activated, uh, draw one card and then discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. So. I think it's important to note too that thematically those are wild cards because those birds have some unique way of nesting that doesn't fit into other categories. Yeah, and it actually says it gives you a little flavor text, uh, a little actually it's a actual piece of trivia on each bird. So these terns build floating nests out of marsh plants. Cool. And that's why they're a wild card. Um, and I should note that there are 170 cards in the bird deck, and every single one of them is unique. All right, you done? Uh, sorry, and that cost that cost me a fish. Uh, there's a slash, so that means that I could either spend a bird or a fish token to put that out. All right, I too will play a bird, and I'm going to play. I'm going to play the spotted owl, and I'm going to feed that spotted owl using one mouse. And since I don't have another mouse to feed it. I'm going to use two berries, which you can use any two um, of any food to equal one of another food. So it's the Spotted Owl. Um, when played, I draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So where's the deck of bonus cards? Here. Thank you. I'll look at those in a moment. Um, Trivia-wise... The habitat for these birds was a topic in logging fights in the Pacific Northwest region in, of the U.S. That's, okay. <clears throat> okay. And that's the end of my turn, and I will pick my bonus cards as you proceed. Okay, sounds good. Um, I am going to get a food. I'm going to take a worm. That's it. I will play another bird. So I'm going to play the black necked stilt. He's going to require me to feed him two worms to place him in the wetlands. Um, when not breeding, stilts form closely packed groups and will mob predators. Interesting. Um, so when he's played, I draw two cards. So I'm gonna get two new bird cards. Okay. Um, oh, I should have looked at what they were. Yeah, I'll look next time. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play a bird. I'm gonna play the Grasshopper Sparrow. And it's going to cost me a wheat. And its ability is when activated, lay an egg, lay one egg on any bird. Okay. Um...
I am going to Could you pass me the kingfisher there? I want to eat it. Sure. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Kingfisher by drawing a bird card. Okay. Yeah, and normally she would have also been able to discard an egg to draw an extra card, but she doesn't have any eggs, so she won't be able to do that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take the lay egg action, and that will get me two eggs. So we'll do that. And I get to lay an additional egg on any bird because of the grasshopper sparrow's ability. So I will lay a second egg on the black turn. That's my turn. That's your turn. <laughs> okay. No pun intended. I am also going to play eggs. Two eggs. Turn. I'm going to draw cards. Uh, I will draw. This should be refilled. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I am going to. I'm going to draw a blind for my first card. Okay. Uh, and I will discard an egg. In order to draw a second, also blind. And then the black turns ability is when activated, draw one card. If you do, discard one card from your hand at the end of your turn. So I'm going to take that and I will discard a card out of my hand. And that's the end of my turn. I feel like I'm not doing a whole lot. To... Well, the first time, you, know, <laughs> you kind of just start building things up, right? Yeah. I don't like any of these options. Hmm. I guess uh, you have two actually I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a card and discard this egg to draw a second card. Okay. And you want one of these? Nah, I'm going to draw a blind for both of them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the same action again. Uh, I'm going to take some. Yeah, I am. And I am going to draw a blind. Okay, that's a good one. And I am going to discard an egg off of the grasshopper sparrow in order to draw a second one. Okay. And I will activate the black turn to draw a card and then discard a card from my hand. And I'm actually going to discard the one I just drew. 
Alright, so for my final turn, I will play... Oh, man. I forgot you have to give up an egg to play a second bird in a yeah. location. I'm not going to do that. I am... Going to lay eggs! <laughs> on this guy, because it's the only one I can, because that can only handle one egg in its nest. Uh, okay, so for my final action, um, I am going to play a, a bird, I think. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the blue winged warbler here. It gets me eight points. It has no ability um, and it costs two worms. Cool. Uh, so that's the end of the first round. Now we look at the round bonuses. I believe we're tied with one oh, yeah. card with a. I thought for sure you were going to beat me. Uh, nope. <laughs> so we're actually going to both go in the first place spot, and we will be splitting the points from first and second place in half, rounded down. Uh, so after that, we will collect all of our cubes again. We will refresh the bird display. And we'll pass first player marker over to me. Okay. So I was going to go for food. So let's see. This round bonus is birds and forests. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to go for food, but that turkey vulture is nice. It doesn't give you a lot of points, but it doesn't cost any food to put out. So it's a really quick way to build up one of your row and it can go in any row so it's a really good way to build up uh, your engine in one of your rows so I think for my first action I'm gonna take the draw cards I'm gonna grab the turkey vulture and I could discard an egg to get another one I am gonna do that it's probably not a good call since I now have no eggs um, And then I'll activate the black turn again, draw a card, and if you do, discard a card out of your hand. So I'm going to get rid of it's a tough call. I'm going to get rid of this card here. So I'm going to play a second bird. I'm going to discard this egg to do it and play the black vulture. So the black vulture, similar to the turkey vulture, as you were saying, doesn't cost any food because he is a scavenger. Um, but his action is once between turns when another player's hunt succeeds, which is that little skull and crossbones, I gain a food from the bird feeder. Um, and I just noticed it's a uh, it's a bird skull in crossbones. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes sense. It does make sense. I just never noticed it before. Uh, so let's see. I need to get eggs because I cannot play any birds until I get eggs. So I'm gonna take two eggs. Oh no! Making a mess of eggs over here. We will put them both there, and then the Grasshopper Spares ability is lay one egg on any bird, so we'll do that. And now I have three eggs. Right. I'm going to get food from the bird feeder, so I get to take two. Yep. Um, I will first take a worm. 
And I don't want to bury, and since that's the last one, I get to re-roll. Ah! Very inactive. Fingers off. Ooh, lots of fish and worms. Alright. Hopefully that's what you wanted. Maybe it is. Take a fish. And none of mine are inactivate when they go down the line, so that's it. Yep. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, sorry. You should hide your hand better. That's okay. I'm taller than you now. I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a bird. Take an egg off of there. And I'll play the turkey vulture. And that's put it in the wrong row. Playing turkey vulture up top here. And... It's got this similar ability, actually it's the same ability, uh, once between turns when another player's uh, hunt succeeds, gain one food from the bird feeder. Uh, so these pink abilities I should mention, in a two player game it happens whenever your opponent triggers that ability, but if you're playing with more than two players, it's only once between turns. So if once you've activated that ability because another player's triggered it, uh, you can't activate it again until your turn has come and gone again. So it's once between your turns. So aptly named. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am going to get more food from the bird feeder. I'm going to get another worm. If you take and... that last one, you can reroll it. Well, I can't re-roll. <laughs> you can re-roll. Maybe I'll take another fish then. I'm gonna take another fish. Well, I guess it's okay because I. Yeah, you're I could, gonna take. Two I could use yeah. I could either use way. either. I could use either of those and then re-roll it if I want to. So. Oh, and you know I didn't read the uh, the flavor text on the turkey vulture. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Turkey vultures can projectile vomit to defend themselves. <laughs> it's weird. My flavor text on the black vulture is actually about turkey vultures. Oh, that's interesting. Turkey vultures have a better sense of smell. So, oh, so black vultures follow them to food. Oh, okay. Aha. <laughs> so that that power actually makes a little more sense than the turkey vulture power. What the the fact that you would be succeeding in a hunt? Yeah. It would. Oh, actually, it should way. make more sense that if you get food, if you're turkey vulture, right? Gets it food, should. I should get food. Yeah, yours should. Yours should hunt. be a little bit more specific that yeah. when a turkey vulture gets it. Yeah, this one makes sense because when anybody that's succeeds probably in a hunt, so rare really. though because there's only one turkey vulture in the whole deck. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't be entirely uh, perfectly thematic, or yeah, it wouldn't yeah. be balanced. Uh, so, I am going to. I'm going to get food. So I will take. Let's see, what do I want to play up next? <clears throat> That's an ability that I like. So I think I'm going to take a fish. And I am going to reroll everything. Not exactly what I wanted. Let's see if we can we can work with there. Um, I will take a berry. And no powers, so that's the end of my turn. I'm going to spend an egg to place a bird, second bird in the wetlands. So the white faced ibis requires two worms and a fish. Um, white faced ibises nest in colonies with herons and egrets. That's cool. Um, so he's worth eight points, and when he's activated, is it, it is actually a hunt action. Mm -hmm. um, so when he's activated, I roll all the dice that are not in the bird feeder, and if any of them are fish, I gain a fish and I cash it on that card. 
And so that'll be worth the points at the end. Any Right, so cash, cash food, instead of going in your supply, go on the bird cards themselves, and those are worth a point each, just like an egg is worth a point and a tucked card. So... I'm going to go ahead and play another bird card, and I will discard an egg to do so. Here. And I will play the Song Sparrow, and that will cost me a berry. All right. Um, hmm. I will get to more food. So I will get each of these. I'll take a worm and I'll take a um, is that green wheat? Um, yeah, I don't know. That. One of one or the other, grain or wheat. Wheat's a grain. I've been calling it wheat. So. Okay. Um, well, I wanted to get food, but I was hoping you were going to take something that would let me re-roll everything in there. I know. <laughs> so... Let me think about it. I'm going to get more. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate the uh, cards card ability and yeah we'll go ahead and we'll draw one I'm gonna draw blind okay. and then I will draw oh I will discard yeah I'll discard an egg to draw another one okay and I will activate this ability to draw another one. Okay. And then I will discard a card. There we go. What did you do? I did the draw card draw bird card action i discarded an egg to get a second card and then i used the black turns ability to draw a third card and then discard one mm -hmm. only two turns left yeah yeah, it goes quickly. When did that happen? All right, I'm going to. Oof. I'm going to. And my last egg to play the belted kingfisher. Um, so once between turns, when another player plays a wetlands bird, I gain a fish from the supply. Kingfisher's burrows can go up to six feet into a riverbank and slopes to shed water. I like that one. Hmm. Um, okay. So, yep. did all the things. That's it. That's it. Uh, so final action. I suppose I will play eggs. So I'll do two eggs. Let's see. Next turn we want eggs in the wetlands. So I'll place both eggs in the wetlands. And then 
I'll activate the Grasshopper Sparrow to lay another egg, and we'll do that. We'll just do it on the Grasshopper Sparrow. All right. What do we got over there? I guess I'll use my last action to draw some cards. And I'm just going to draw blindly. For both. And, if you're, um, uh... and then I get to activate my white faced Ibis. So I get to roll these that are not in the bird feeder. You do not roll them into the bird feeder. So I'll roll them up near so you can see them. Yeah, that's a berry. Fish? Ah. No, it's not a fish. Alright. I was hoping that you would get it because I would have gained a food out of that. Sorry. It's alright. Alright, so that's all the actions. Uh, so now we're going to evaluate the um, round two bonus. So I have three birds in the forest, so I'm going to gain first place there. Marlena will get second. Uh, we will refresh the bird display. And we'll take all our cubes back, and we'll pass first player over to Marlena. And start round three. What's in the bird display now? So we've got a Clark's nut Nutcracker, Killdeer, and a, <laughs> a Dixie. <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> Dixie. <Dixicle. laughs> I kept reading it as Dixical. Take that bird seriously. All right. Not mature enough for yeah. this game. All right. Let us see. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna take some food. All right. I'm gonna take. It's good news for me. This and get a wheat, a wheat, and. Hmm. You gotta hide your cards a little better Sorry. too. Keep inadvertently cheating. Cheater. Hmm. Uh -huh. I don't know. I forgot what I was even doing. I'm trying to figure so you, out if I want you this took worm. One, you took one food already, right? Yep, I took I took that wheat. Okay. And trying now I'm trying to figure out if I want to re-roll or not. I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Odds are one of those will be a worm anyways. Probs. This is not the proper way to do it because this is really hard to do if it looks like this. Oh, lots of wheat. Taking a mouse. Okay. That's it. It's unfortunate. I would have liked that mouse. Sorry. So I'm going to take uh, two food. Take a fish. I'm going to take a worm. 
And then I can discard a card. Let's see. So I can discard a card in order to take another food. I'm going to roll everything since there's only one type of food left. Lots of mice now. And so I will get a mouse. And the ability of the Song Sparrow is if this bird is to the right of all of the birds in its habitat, move it to another habitat. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down to the... Uh, let's see. You just played that bird? No, it's oh. uh, it was in the uh, forest and that was its oh. ability. Uh, so I'm actually going to move it to the lay eggs action. And that is the only ability I have in that row. How's the tall chair? Not loving it. No, okay. Not meant for people who are five foot two. Start getting some eggs on those uh, birds mm -hmm. in the wetlands. No. Oh yeah, they do have to have eggs, don't they? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Because I can tell you, I'm gonna have quite a few. Okay. <laughs> the song sparrow is nice because you can keep moving it to where you need it. I'm going to. Play a I, say, bird. I say that like Marlena hasn't destroyed me in both games that we've played this so far. Yeah. So I fed him with a mouse and two randoms. Just a common funny. raven. Um, when he's activated, I discard an egg from any of my other birds to gain two food from his supply. That seems pretty good. It does, except when I'm trying, I probably shouldn't have played that right now because I'm trying to get eggs. Well, you'll get an extra egg out of it. What? You'll get an extra egg when you do the, you you can decide not to use his ability, but now you'll your lay eggs ability gets you more eggs. So. Yeah, if I discard food. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. And the reason why okay. is because ravens are omnivores who di whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, <laughs> and carrion. So it eats other birds' eggs. Yeah. That's why you get food. Yeah. That makes sense. I am doing the lay egg action. So I'll get three eggs. I'm going to put them all on the song sparrow. Uh, and then I'll activate its ability. Since it's the farthest right in its habitat, mm -hmm. I can move it to another habitat. So I'll move down to the wetlands. And then I will use the song sparrow's ability to lay one additional egg. Any bird, and I'll put it on the song sparrow since it can hold up to five eggs. I am going to get more food. Mouse and a mouse and a wheat, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I am going to play a bird. I will discard an egg off of the grasshopper sparrow, and I will play Man, I am not doing well this game. I'm gonna play the great egret. Uh, this one is 
Play a second bird in your wetlands, pay its normal cost. I assume that also means eggs as well. What? Uh, when... I when, don't think so. Just its food cost, you think? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the, okay. I think that's the reason why you would use that, is so you can avoid the egg cost. Well, it also uh, gives me, you know, it's action efficient, right? I don't have to take another action to play another bird. Yeah. Uh, so there is a really nice appendix that has all of the bird abilities so I can actually look that one up pretty quickly so it is oh you played two of those man I've been missing my opportunity I what? was supposed to gain a fish from the supply when you played that and I'm supposed to gain a fish there what do you mean my king my belted kingfisher allows me that when a another player plays a wetlands bird I gain one fish from the supply oh into the wetlands or anywhere because I didn't play this into the wetlands. Remember it moved? Oh, so then I just... So one. this is the first time it would have acted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of this bird? It is the Great Egret. Alright. Here we go. Uh, you must follow all the rules. Uh... You must discard the food and egg cost for that bird. So you do have to pay the egg cost. That makes sense because yeah. the uh, there'll be one from each of those. It's kind of arbitrary. Uh, so I'll do that to play my second one, which is going to be the American Crow. Uh, is it going to be the American Crow? Yeah, that gives me more food. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we'll do the American Crow. Uh, that costs me a random food. So this one costs me uh, two fish and a mouse. This one costs me one of any food. I will use a worm to pay it. So all of my food is gone. That's my action. I'm going to lay eggs and I'm going to discard. Um, this this most to do it to an extra egg. So I'll lay three eggs. Doesn't really matter. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Yeah, this is just total number of eggs and weapons. Uh when activated, I discard one from any of my other birds. Which again is why this isn't ideal. <laughs> um, but then I get two food from the supply. Do I get to re-roll if I want or no? Um, Do I just get those two? No, you can take one and then re-roll them, I think. Oh, it says from the supply. Two wild food from the supply, so not the bird feeder. Oh, yeah, take it's, it any, it's any food. Yeah, the, yeah. The supply. So you can choose what that is. Yep. I'm going to take... I'm going to take a worm. Another worm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the draw card action. Uh, I'll draw three cards. Let's see, is there anything out there that I want? That's pretty good. I'll take that. Kill deer. And I will draw my next one blind. Okay. Uh, and I'll draw my third one blind as well. Good. And let's see. Discard one egg from any of your other birds to gain a food from the supply. So I'll take one off the Song Sparrow. And what do I need? Fish. Your cards, man. Worm seems pretty good. I'll take a look. Uh, that doesn't do anything because it's not the most right in its habitat. And then I will draw one additional card and then discard one from my hand. Uh, that seems good. Probably won't play this one. So, 
There we go. I've discarded, and that's my turn. I don't think there's a way I'm going to beat you on the egg thing, so I'm just going to have to... Well, right now, I only have one... Yeah, I guess, I mean, I could, I'll probably... No, there's no eggs. way. Yeah. Um, I mean, unless you're not going to take two more lay egg actions, which you are, so... Mm. Yeah. I definitely won't if you don't fight me for it. No, maybe I will. <laughs> No, it's not even possible. I can't physically keep up with you because my fucking, I'm sorry, my common raven is gonna eat all my eggs. You don't have to do that ability. It's optional. It's optional? Yeah, they're all optional. Nobody tell me that. Right? I think that all the uh, abilities are optional. Let me check. All powers are optional. Yeah, oh, well then, duh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna discard the food. To lay three eggs. Did you want to put back the, the nope. food that you got last time? Nope, it's fine because okay. I kind of have like a food excess now. Not gonna have to him. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're at five. So I'm gonna have to do at least one lay egg action. Uh, oh, actually, well now if I don't do. <laughs> uh, I wanted to play a bird and then do that, but I don't think I can do that now. Um. <clears throat> so if I get three more eggs here, right, we'll get eight eggs. If I do this, we'll get seven eggs. Oh, when was that supposed to get refilled? Oh, at the end of my turn, so it should have happened already. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, and I have to pay an egg to do this too. Well, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm going to discard an egg, I'm going to pay a worm in order to get the kill deer out. That's a discard an egg to draw two cards. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah, you have to lay eggs, right? Yeah. Um, discard that fish to lay three. Skip that. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I probably didn't, that wasn't really a smart move of, of, on my part because if you did oh, lay an egg, you guarantee me the, the win by doing the lay egg action. But by laying eggs, I think I'll be one short. Well, that's literally eating. full. That's all, all the eggs they can hold. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're at eight. I can only lay four eggs, which means I can't. I can't, can't win. So not a smart play, but I was kind of looking ahead to the um, to the next ability. I didn't want to waste two actions laying eggs. So we'll do three here. Do one there. We'll do all of them 
this row. And I will discard an egg to draw two cards. Oh, uh, I didn't look at that. Actually, I should check if I want to draw from there. I know, I do want to draw blind. So I'm going to do that. And I'll draw my second one blind as well. Okay. And then I can lay one egg on any bird. And I don't think it matters. No, I don't have any additional. I don't have any additional of those symbols there. I'm gonna look at what the symbols are called so we can call them by the right names. <clears throat> Is your turn done? Oh, there's seeds, by the way. The uh, yellow fruit. It's not green. Ah. So it's in, it's invertebrate, seed, fish, fruit, and rodent. I'm still going to call them yeah. worms and mice. And berries. And wheat and yeah. berries. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to tell them. So the four <laughs> different types of nests are cavities. Ground nests are the ones with the uh, that mm -hmm. have the seven eggs bundled together. Bowl nests and platform nests. Yeah. Which look like a pile of sticks, basically. Actually, yeah. it looks like a nest on a little platform. platform. Makes sense. All right, that's it. Uh, yes. So I got most eggs. You got second most. We collect our tokens here. Right yeah. now, first player. Yep, and this is the final round. So we need birds with ground nests. There are none in there. All right. So I need food. That's my first action. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. So, I could do that. I am going to take. A wheat. I'm gonna reroll. Wheat. Or a seed, rather. Do you want to reroll your seed oh, in there? Yep. Uh, wow, that was not a good roll. Yeah, how did you get no worms? How do you know worms? Well, I don't. Uh, so I'm if you wanted to hide your cards, oh, so I should have actually taken. But I don't one. actually know that you want worms. I'm just saying it's very likely to roll a worm, and you didn't. I'm gonna take a berry. Action cubes in here. All right, uh, and no special abilities. All right. What uh, I can't see what kind of mess that is. It's a platform. I'm going to spend an egg to play the Bobolink. Um, and he, when played, I lay one egg on each of my birds with a ground nest. Ah. Does that include the wild? Uh, yeah, it says the wilds count for any type of nest, right? It does. What but the, he can't anyways. That was a when played? Yeah. Oh, okay. So actually, oh. You want to kind of play that when you have more... More of those no, nests, so. I kind of wanted to not take it from this one. I spent the egg to do it off of this guy. I should have spent it off this guy, so then I could replace it. You just it. did it, right? I just did yeah, it. Yeah, then do that. That's fine. All right. So just move the egg over to that guy. It doesn't. It's equal now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. That's so it. I need. To, well, I need to spend my worm and oh. two wheat to feed him. And that's it. Okay, uh, bless you. Thank you. 
And actually, it's not even allowed for me to put that guy on there because he can only take two eggs anyways. Oh. Doesn't really oh, matter. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it didn't, didn't matter. Uh, I'm going to play a bird. Uh, I'm going to spend a berry to play the Carolina Wren. Uh, when played, draw two cards. A single male Carolina Wren can sing nearly 3,000 times in a single day. Wow. I think that may be even more than I sing. <laughs> you can attest that I sing a lot. Yes, you do. Uh, so when played, draw two cards. I also, I didn't read, I haven't been reading all of these, but uh, this one's pretty interesting. Killdeers will fake a broken wing to lure predators from their nests. That's cool. Okay, so I've drawn my cards and it's your turn. I'm going to play cards. Um, I mean, draw cards. I don't want any of those. And I'm going to discard an egg. None of this dude. Um, to draw three. I'm gonna draw three from the wild deck. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh wait. So then. Oh, you! I keep forgetting to do that. You played that American Crow, right? Like uh, last. Yeah. What I'm are supposed you to supposed get to a, do? I was supposed to get a fish. Go ahead, take it. I'm bad at that. What gives you that again? My belted so, kingfisher. When oh, another yeah. player plays a <laughs> wetlands bird, I gain a fish from this play. Right. It wouldn't have changed anything because I yeah. haven't been playing things that need fish or not playing things that need fish. Um, all right, so then I get to activate my white-faced ibis. When activated, I roll all dice. Oops, not in the bird feeder. Just as this one. And if it's a fish, I cash it on him. Be a fish. Be a fish. It's yeah. not a fish. It's a wheat. All right. And that's it. Okay, so. Let's see, what do I need? So, I only have three actions left. I know. This last round goes fast. Alright, I'm going to draw cards. So I'll draw three, and I'm going to draw blind. Okay. Alright. Uh, I can discard one egg from any bird. I will discard it from the Song Sparrow, uh, since it's not part of the round bonus. And gain any one food from the supply. That food will be... It's got to be a fish or a worm. I'm going to take a fish. Uh, the next two don't do anything. And then I can draw a card and discard one from my hand. So I'll take that one and this card. Oh, this card. This one. Okay. That's it. Right. I'm going to get food. Mouse and the wheat. And that's it. Okay. Uh oof. let's see. Uh 
I'm also gonna get food. Oh. Oh no. Uh, hang on. Can I, can I play any birds without <laughs> gaining food? Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to. Oh. Yeah, okay, I could do that. Um, Okay, uh, I'm going to play a bird. Oh, that's not going to help me anyways, is it? Uh, yeah, because I'll get to play four. Yeah, all right. So, unfortunately, this costs me. It's going to cost me two eggs to do it. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think I might only be able to tie. But I think I will be able to tie you for this bonus. No fun go. Uh, so, that's going to cost me a uh, fish. And the two eggs, uh, and that's that's it for that one. I too am going to play a bird for two eggs. I'm going to use these two eggs and play the American oyster catcher. Um, when he is played, I draw the number draw cards number. E sorry, draw cards equal to the number of players plus one, so three cards. Mm -hmm. And starting with me and proceeding clockwise, which doesn't really matter, um, we each select one of those cards and place it in our hand. I keep the extra card. So, two, three. Starting with me. Yep. Do I look at them? Yeah. So oh. you, you look at them, you pick one, then I look at the remaining ones, pick one, and then you keep the third. No, I'm supposed to get a fish for here's beauty dose. Yep. Yeah. I don't feel that it super matters. <laughs> oh, right, you get to look. Um, it really doesn't. Thanks. Um, so, anyways, that was just his ability. Um, I spend this guy and then two wilds to equal the other worm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, so I have no choice but to lay eggs, and that's going to be three, plus I will get a fourth one, so I'm just going to do that now. And I'm going to place one on that wild, one there, and we'll do, yeah, we'll just do two here, we'll discard an egg to draw, no, I'll just kind of draw two cards because I don't have a chance to use them. Uh, so we'll skip that one and we will lay an egg on any bird. And I don't have any other birds that match the right habitat, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just put one on the Forster's turn. All right, done? I am done, yep. All right, I am going to lay eggs as my final action, so I'll lay three eggs and I'll put one on this dude. Doesn't really matter on this dude. I think we both ended up with four of those types. Wait, did I do one, two, three? That was three. I don't know why I got four eggs. Um, I could do this, but I'm not going to because eggs are worth more than having food. Yes, so yeah, food's not worth anything. So. Uh, okay, so that was our final action. So. That's going to trigger the end of the game, so mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead four. and add our... Wait, 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 w
didn't do our round bars. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. I have four birds with I eggs. I have one, two, three, four as well. All right. So we're going to tie for that one. And I'm going to grab a pen. All right. And let's add them up. So we'll count up our birds first. So we we'll do that independently. Seven. All right, I was at 32. Uh, and then bonus cards. So I have the ecologist. So birds in my habitat with the fewest birds. I get two points per bird. So two birds are mine. So I get four yeah. points. Um, and then I'm also the anatomist. So I have birds with body parts in their names. I have the uh, white faced ibis and the black necked stilt. And I think that's it. Okay, so you've got five five total bonus points. Five total bonus points. Uh, no, I... no, no. Four plus three, oh, seven. Oh, sorry, total. yeah, that's two per bird. So, seven. Yeah. Um, I also have seven. I have Visionary Leader, bird cards in hand at the end of the game. If you have eight or more, you get seven points. I had, I think, 11. Wow. Okay. 11, yes. So, I got... That's a pretty good one. Seven points, so we tied there. Uh, end of round goals. So we're each going to get, that's five divided by two, is two and a half, so that rounds down to two. Um, then you get another two, so four, ten, and then another five. So 15 for you. Hopefully I'm doing my math right. Uh, I get two there, that's seven. 10, 15. Oh, wow. So, this is a close game. Mm. Uh, eggs. Well, you're going to crush me on that. One, two, eight, three, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got four. Food on cards, none. Mm. And tucked cards, none. Oh, my God. So, uh, you did beat me. So, let's see how much. So, that's uh, 44. Uh, 68, and I got 39, 58. 68 to 58, and you continue your streak of crushing me in this game. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. There's Wingspan, and uh, Marlene is going to continue to be uh, queen of the hill on this game, and we'll see if I can beat her next time. Next time. All right, and we'll see you next time, folks. Thanks.